I'm here to give another quick tip on communicating in your relationship. So this is about using the word but, or actually I should say not using the word but. So let me give you an example. You say, I'm really sorry, but whatever you're about to say is negating what you just said. So let me go on with that statement. I'm sorry, but if you hadn't done this or been late, I wouldn't have been mad. Or I'm sorry, but you know, I really get angry when this happens. You're basically not saying sorry and they know it. And so then when you get a negative response, you're surprised. So I would cut out the word, but, and make whatever your ask is or whatever you need different to be a different conversation. So just, I'm really sorry that happened. I'm going to try to fix that in the future. And once they accept your apology and you move forward, maybe the next day or the next week or later that day, you mention, hey, I'm wondering if you could change this or, you know, make it a separate conversation. So another use of the word but is, I like your couch, but I don't like the color brown. Do you really like my couch? It's brown. Probably not. So, you know, you might say, I like your couch. I don't usually like the color brown, but I like it on your couch. So that's negating the, I don't like your couch, right? I usually don't like brown, but I do in your couch. So you're negating the, I don't like it. And so just be aware of how you're talking to your spouse, because a lot of times the subtle things that you say, flip them out and you don't know why. So that was your quick tip of the day. Take care of yourself.